Hello and uh, welcome back. Today I'd like to talk a little bit about digital multimeters and about the number of digits and the number of counts. Uh, because in the specifications, uh, I think since the last, last three or four years, I started noticing that they also say how many counts is the multimeter. And in the be beginning, I was just looking, okay, I just need uh, uh, three and a half, four and a half, or five and a half, or if I really want to go crazy, I take six and a half digits. Then first of all, what is this half digit that we talk about? I'm going to explain that, or at least how I think, you know, where it came from and the number of counts and why the counts is also very important if you have two millimeters both four and a half digits but one has more counts than the other what does it mean and what is the consequence if you pick the one with the lower count or the higher count so what does it actually mean and i try to show on the displays so first of course we had the analog meters and then it also had an accuracy. Now this one here is uh, 3% on uh, DC and 4% on, uh, on AC. Yeah, it's very small, but here it, it is. And you would think nowadays, well, that is, not, uh, that is not accurate at all. But on the other hand, it also depends on your eyes, because where is the needle? And if it's exactly spot on, you probably can see. Now it's exactly 10 volts. But what if it's seven and a half? Uh, maybe you can see between the seven and the eight, it's probably seven and a half. But would you able to see if it's six, uh, 7.51 maybe because it's a but 5.5 or 5.56, that's going to be complicated. So this, this was accurate enough, but then of course we had the digital multimeters and I tried looking if I could find one with three digits. And I, and I couldn't. Even the cheapest one here already is uh, three and a half. And, and, and why we need three and a half? Well, let me show you that by an example. Well, here I have an uh, old HP voltage meter, digital multimeter. It is set to the 10 volt setting. And I'm just increasing the voltage. And as you can see, it has two decimals, nothing wrong, perfect. Three digits, one, two, three. But you can probably feel it coming. If we go higher, higher and higher. And what if we go above the 9? If we have 10, if we are at 10 volts, then we immediately start to uh, lose one decimal. So, but it is not. So then you can see here, there is an extra digit coming. Is it coming also for the two? No, not necessarily because the next scale here is 100. So this is actually the maximum is 10. So still we don't want to lose the digit because if I do a, sky, a scale higher, you can see we, we would lose it. So, but we don't want a full digit. So it's half a digit. But where does it came from? So why uh, did we start calling this half a digit? Because it's only displaying a one. Well, that was with the old displays like this, with, uh, with the seven segments. You also have the VFD, that is a different kind. It's also high voltage. Maybe, you know, from your old VCR, it's that, that green glow. Um, but you also had the Nixie. And I have an example of the Nixie, and that is why I think it's called half a digit. Well, if you could see in that picture, it had a half, half a Nixie tube and it could only display uh, a one. It's, it almost looks like it was a little neon thing, but it was just a sticky thing. So it can only display a one. But if you look from the front, from the real full digit and the other one, it really looks like half, half the size. So half a digit. And I think that is where it uh, came from. Well, that was the older HP uh, multimeter. Now I have here just a very, very cheap, simple one, not auto scaling. And this one doesn't go by 10, but it goes by two. And this already starts to make a little bit more sense because if I hear on the 20 volt scale, 
Now we have three digits. And if I do a little bit more, you see we have four digits, but still we call it um, three and a half. And it is not because this could not display it to. It is just that it's programmed not to display it to. So it probably will will do one nine nine nine. Well, I put it now a little bit lower so it's easier to see. Here we have four digits. Now I'm getting closer to the two folds. And then we can see it will not display it to. Slowly up, 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 and here it goes. So the highest, what this one can do, is 199999. But this is a three and a half digit meter. And the same is here for this old uh, fluke meter. Uh, this is the 8020. And you can also see here, this really goes from a scale to from 2 to 20 to 200. So this one is exactly the same. What it will maximum display is 1999. So is it a three digit? No. Is it four digit? Sometimes. So this is also a three and a half digit. Uh, some have a theory that this half digit is actually just calculated on the digital displays. Um, but then it would never be a half because you're only displaying a one. And maybe you can lie a little bit. We also count the zero and then you would have only two. So it would be one fifth. It would not be. Well, then can also say yes, but one nine nine nine, including the zero. Is actually almost a two, so we count the two and the three, and then it would be one third. Now, if you go from zero to nine, and well, we are already very flexible with zero, one, and two, then we say, okay, then it's one third. It would it would never be half. It would be one third then. So that's why I think it was based on the Nixies. And but this makes less and less sense now nowadays because not only. Uh, you have here the seven segments. We also already have the TFT screens and we can just display any number that we like. Let me zoom in on the on my Owen. Here we have my uh, Owen XDM 2041 and this is also uh, four and a half and if we count we have five of course because it is the half but here it already says it is 55,000 counts and let me show you what it actually means. So we saw with the older multimeters with the manual uh, scaling without auto scaling it really switched over at the two and where will this one switch over because now we are almost at two folds we have now five digits so when will it switch over to four digits will that also be at the two no it is not so then where where will it switch over? So we go on, we have still five digits, still not four. So it's still a five digit machine. We go to the five. Still, we have all our digits. Wait, now it switched over. What happened? We are now up at uh, 5.6 volts. And now it suddenly, it became a four digit machine. Why is that? Let's go back. Let's, let's try that again. Okay, now we are below five. We do now a little bit slower. A little bit slower. I think we are almost there. Yeah. Oh, there it switched over. Did you see that? Okay, I'm now almost at the point. And I think you already got it because look at this. Here it says 55000. What it probably means is that it is because they lie here also again. It is actually 5499999, but they can are allowed to add the zero. So this meter has 55,000 counts. And as you can see, 55000 would be 55. So that is what the number of counts means and this is important because if you buy a multimeter with four and a half digits and it is only 20,000 counts then you can only do up to two fold. You can have all five digits but with this one because it is 55,000 counts it can go up to five volts. 
And that's why it's also important to understand what are these counts. So these little multimeters, which are three and a half digits, you can switch them from 2 to 20 to 200. So this one is 1999 or 2000 counts. Very simple. Same for this fluke scale, 10, 20. But with the auto scaling machines, with the auto scaling like this one, it is a little bit more difficult. So you really need to see in the specification how many counts does it have. Well, I know by heart this one is 20,000 counts. And I like to compare these. I will put the same source on both of these multimeters. This one is four and a half. This one is actually five and a half, but I can switch off one digit. And it's actually a little bit mean because this one is not five and a half. It is actually five, four fifth. So it's a little bit more than, than five and a half. But as we saw, that half digit and calculating with that one, it's weird anyway. Um, but the number of counts are different. 20,000 counts, 60,000 counts. And then you can see the difference. If I switch this one to four and a half, this one is four and a half, same voltage, watch it. Okay, here we have both multimeters. This one is set to uh, four and a half instead of five. This one is 60,000 counts and this one has 20,000 counts. So in that sense, they are more or less the same. Of course, this quality is better, but we're not, not looking at that. So now what happens? If we turn up, uh, I think it's even as 50,000 instead of 60,000 counts because it goes only up to five. In here you can see it goes up to 20. But watch what happens. Both are still five digits as we expected. We are still five digits, but we go higher, we go higher, we go higher. Click this one now, goes back to four digit, while this one is still going. And that is because the number of counts are higher. So the number of counts are really important to see when it switches to four, back from five to four. And this is purely because the number of counts, it has nothing to do with this being a 4.5 and it's actually being a 5.5 because I switched it off. Now I switch it on, you see, I still have my extra digits that I now switch off. Yeah, clearly it's 50,000 counts and not 60 as I said. So this one will switch over above the five. Well, we have a little bit, and here it goes. You see? Okay, here we have my uh, Keatley, the Keatley 199. It's uh, 5.5 millimeters, but uh, yeah, in that time they didn't talk about counts, or at least I didn't find it. So how can we find out how many counts this meter is? Well, let me count myself one two three four five six digits so it's five and a half when will it start going down when will i lose my digit so it goes back to five so we slowly increase the voltage and then at some point we should see where we lose one of the digits at two, it's still good. So it's at least 200,000 counts. We go up. Ah, oh, there it went. Yeah. So this meter is 300,000 counts. Three, zero, zero, 300, one, two, three. And that is how you can find out how many counts your meter has. It even is a little bit more, there it goes. 
So that was just a little one, but I think it's now very clear why this half digit, well, half the time, most, no, not half the time, most of the time, this half digit is a big line, is usually one third, or if you think about it in Nixie terms, as I showed you in the picture, it was actually in the past half a digit. Uh, so now we're going to look, when we buy a multimeter, how many digits? Well, I prefer four and a half or five and a half, but then it becomes very important how many counts, because you could see the real difference between 20,000 counts or 50,000 counts. I think this was the nicest example to show you that. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time.